Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Din and I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix the spices and then cook the dish. Very simple method I'm going to use, so please follow the instructions carefully. So let's cook. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Din and today I'm going to show you how to cook a traditional chicken curry. Also, this is a staff curry what we would cook in the restaurant for the staff to eat after a hard day's work let's get our chicken ready i'm going to use a whole chicken but you can use chicken thighs or chicken breast entirely up to you just use the same uh, quantity of chicken i've shown in my recipe so it's best to get all the ingredients you need ready first uh, before you start uh, and uh, that way you won't find it stressful you can just uh, cook at your own pace and uh, enjoy cooking this dish. I always use a whole chicken on the bone because I find it gives it more flavour. You can buy these chickens, uh, this is a roaster chicken so this is a normal chicken, it's not a boiler chicken. Boiler chicken is the one which is more uh, tough but this one's uh, a roaster chicken which you would uh, use for roasting as well and it's a softer meat so the process is a little bit different when you cook this because uh, it doesn't need a lot of time to cook so this is how you would cut the chicken up into uh, the right sizes uh, and not waste any of the meat on the bone uh, so uh, I, I throw everything in because it's really nice and it gives the curry itself a nice flavour give that really a good wash and put aside but this is garlic and ginger paste, what we need. So that's half ginger, half garlic. Uh, put in a little bit of water and some oil and blend it. Well, what this helps is uh, it stops the garlic and ginger paste from going green. So you can freeze this as well. Put it in a little ice cube container and freeze it. And when you need it, you can use it from frozen. Put in the saucepan your uh, bay leaves, your cardamom pods and your cinnamon first and let them kind of fry with the garlic and ginger paste. I'm going to also put some uh, whole black pepper as well because I do like the flavour of black pepper. If you follow this in, uh, recipe from start to finish like I'm showing, you'll get the perfect chicken curry and really tasty as well and your friends and family love it. Put some fresh green chilies. I always use a few uh, fresh green chilies and a little bit of red, less red chilli because the fresh chilli is better for your stomach than the red chilli. So uh, use a uh, fresh green chilli if you can. And uh, they keep really well in the fridge as well. So you can keep them up to, I think about a month in the fridge if you store them uh, wrapped in a kitchen towel and put in a container and that keeps it nice and fresh it's funny i, I learned this uh, from youtube because i always use uh, fresh green chilies and sometimes had to freeze them but now i don't freeze them at all i just put them in a container cover them with uh, a kitchen towel and they keep for about a month but mine only lasts a couple of weeks anyway i only buy smaller quantities at a time and use them up so anyway give that a good stir and let that all infuse into the oil first. Then once uh, that's happened, uh, then throw in your onions. Let them kind of uh, sweat down a little bit, not too long. So this process probably uh, has taken about five, five minutes so far from start to finish so uh, turn it down a little don't don't burn your ingredients because the last thing we want is the burnt smell uh, in the saucepan and that will affect your whole curry so we don't want to burn uh, any of the ingredients at this stage I'm gonna put in a little red pepper as well instead of throwing this one away this one came from my garden which uh, we only had two peppers on the tree so I thought I might as well use it up so I put in a little red pepper 
chop it up some tomatoes I've got all the ingredients you will need for this dish in the description so first get all your ingredients ready first before you start then you find uh, cooking a joy and not a chore Yeah, just scrape it from the bottom, don't let it stick to the bottom, because once it sticks to the bottom, it will burn. So just keep it moving it around, like so. Then put in your salt, that's probably about two teaspoons of salt I'm putting in. Give that a good stir. is looking good I have another recipe on my channel using a boiler chicken which uh, takes much longer to cook but that has a lot more flavor in-depth flavor so this one is what you would buy uh, normal chicken roaster chicken they use and it doesn't take too long in the restaurants now they use all boiler roaster chickens they don't use boiler chickens anymore when they used to cook uh, using boiler chickens, they used to cook the boiler uh, in with the gravy to give it the gravy more flavor, but they don't do that anymore. They just use uh, breast of chicken now or thighs of chicken in restaurants. But anyway, as you can see, the onions and uh, the garlic, ginger and the tomatoes are all breaking down. What we want to do is create a little bit of sauce here before we add our chicken because the chicken will only take like 30, 40 minutes, 30 minutes to cook. Uh, we don't really want to uh, put the chicken in when the onions are still raw, otherwise you get bits of uh, onions. We want a nice smooth sauce. So this is why you cook it this way first. Uh, what we're going to do like at this stage once uh, it's got like this and near enough broken down we're going to add some water and then let it simmer cook for a uh, good 30 minutes to break the onions down even more so put in a good cup of water here and turn turn it right down to uh, low and let it cook out for about 30 minutes And after about 30 minutes, that's fine. Now the sauce is near enough broken down. Now when we put our chicken in, what will happen by stirring the chicken, the onions will break down even more, giving you a nice sauce. Right, this is looking really good now. Uh, the onions have broken down well, and uh, we're going to put our chicken in at this stage. So basically, give it a good stir, make sure it's not stuck to the bottom or anything uh, before we add our chicken. Right, add our chicken. Uh, like I say, I'm adding chicken on the bone. At this stage, you add your chicken you like. Uh, if it's just breast pieces, you can add, or five pieces, entirely up to you. Or you can do what I do, is just add a whole chicken uh, on the bone. Uh, I've given the size of the chicken in uh, my description so you can use the same quantity of chicken whether being just breast only or thigh meat or so on. Right, give that a good uh, stir and w what we're going to do is just stew this for uh, a good about 10, about 10, 15 minutes we're going to stew this for before we add our spices. So you just keep stirring it as you can see. At this stage what we're doing is stirring and breaking down the onions to create a nice sauce, not too lumpy sauce. So every uh, few minutes just give it a good stir uh, using the chicken uh, to break down the onions. This is looking nice, the texture is good and this is going to be a really nice curry. So. We're going to add our spices in uh, a little while, like now. The turmeric.
coriander. And the cumin. I'm going to use a uh, Kashmiri red chili powder in this one. Uh, it's not too overpowering because I've had uh, fresh green chilies. Uh, I don't need to add too much. A lot, a lot of the Kashmiri chili will give is nice colour. I'm also adding some paprika as well. So there's only five spices I've added to this, uh, and uh, then just give that a good stir. And we're going to uh, cook that in the oil and everything, kind of fry it. This is looking good as you can see, add some fresh coriander. And at this stage I'm going to add some potatoes. You, you, you can leave it as it is if you wish uh, and just have a chicken curry. Uh, you can add uh, potatoes if you like at this stage to have chicken and potato curry. I'm just putting some uh, meti here, fenugreek uh, leaves and uh, basically just stir all that in. As you can see, the sauce is looking good now. And once you add your potatoes, then basically you add your water to it and then uh, bring it to the boil and turn it down and simmer for 50, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and then it's all done. So what we're going to do is add some potatoes, but as I say, you can leave the potatoes and just have yourself the chicken curry, or you can add carrots to this if you wish, or any other vegetable you like at this stage so that uh, you have uh, a chicken and some kind of vegetable curry. So I've put some veg uh, potatoes, uh, we're going to just uh, give that a good stir and incorporate uh, the potatoes into uh, curry and also help to break down the sauce as well. If, you, if we give it a good stir with the potatoes uh, as well as the chicken now, it also helps to break down everything. So you get a nice uh, smooth sauce basically and uh, then you uh, get a nice curry as well so this is uh, the last stage before we add our water which uh, is important as well we don't want to add too much water or we don't want to add too less because remember when you uh, add potatoes or any other vegetable it also takes up uh, the water content as well so uh, this is looking good so what I've done is like really stirred it well and cooked the potatoes in with it as well for a little while before you, I'm going to add my water so add water to get the right consistency you want basically not too much uh, not too less uh, otherwise you find yourself you have a dry curry so if you look carefully at the consistency here the, this is what we need so it's not too uh, thick, uh, but it's not too thin. So what will happen, the water will dry out a little bit, it will take on the spices and everything and uh, give you a, a thicker sauce. So, and remember, we've got another 30 minutes now or 25 minutes to cook the potatoes. So now bring it to the boil and turn it down really low put a lid on it and then forget about it for about 25 minutes and uh, that's my chicken curry uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this chicken curry and please share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and hit the notification button then when I release more uh, recipes with the videos for you to follow uh, you'll be notified so I hope you uh, enjoy uh, this dish and before I go, I just wanted to show you how to remove the oil. Just lift it up a little bit and take out oil. So as you can see, I've, I've put, started off with a cup of oil uh, cooking this curry and I've taken probably half a cup out. So uh, it's given the curry the texture, but not all the oil. So there you go, my chicken curry.